Hello everyone, welcome to yet another viewing of the Bando show. My name is Bando. Thank you for attending. Uh, on my right is Bando. On my left is Bando. We're all Bando. Maybe? Possibly. Ah, oh, I've been feeling very uh, tired, sleepy over the past week. I don't know how to really describe it. Because um, it's like I don't really feel like going to sleep, but I'm always like, eyes are like, yep, eyes want to go to sleep. Uh, head's a little... Uh, if I say head's a little dizzy, that sounds concerning. Don't be too concerned, because then the rest of me is like, yeah, no, it's all fine, just, it's all good. So, uh, it's Australia Day tomorrow, which means I get to have a little bit of a rest. But, oh, but I can punch the microphone, first of all. That's one. And secondly, we can jump into a game. So, let's just continue. Let's just go for it. Uh, I saved in another slot. So we will continue on the slot. Uh, so the last time I do remember, I walked into uh, this and said, yep, that's a tree. Uh, this is probably a ladder. Yeah. Uh, I also double checked. Um, as per my previous let's play of the game, um, I had, is that, is that a dead leaf? That's a dead leaf. Ah! Ah, mm. So as per my previous let's play, I decided to double check what I actually had done. I've got to heal. That's the most uh, spooky part of the whole thing. You're going to do a whole eight damage. Okay, these guys take a bit. Take a bit of a beating. Okay. All right. Um, and yeah, I looked it up. I was like, okay, well, like how far through the let's play had I... And I got him. And it turns out that I was basically here uh, at part 12 of uh, a 30 part Let's Play. Now, other things I noticed was uh, I probably had GameFAQs open when I was playing it. This was the end of 2008. Like, I don't remember a thing. I really do not remember a thing about that. Um, okay, and then all of those back. Uh yeah. Troll Never never trust a troll. Or do. Trust trolls with your life. They'll come through. Um So <laughs> yeah, start off the yeah, start off the stream by just going like, yep, I've been, you know, feeling very ill. I've, you know, shamed the stuff I did in my original videos, like, that's positivity in the world, uh, you know, there's, there's definitely things that, man, that's, that's a, that's a chonking hit, that's a real hit, that's a real big hit, um, there's definitely a lot of good things that have happened in the world, uh, I for one, uh, have a bit of a, bit of a consumerism on my side, I recently just bought a, uh, a Lian Li, uh, Air Cool 2, Lian Li, Land Cool 2, Mesh Performance, the case, that's a good case, uh, Gameless Nexus, um, gave it a good commendation at the end of the, uh, year's stuff for computer cases, and, uh, yeah, I've been rocking a, um, a Corsair Carbide Spec 03, uh, for quite a number of years. And it's just the case. It's just like, oh, and I got cool. I, I, I wanted a better cooler. And I knew that the case would have been, you know, something where it's like, okay, I don't think it would have fit. And honestly, like, this case doesn't quite suit all my needs. It's not the most convenient to operate. Um, it's got, uh, it, it, it's got a plastic side window, but it's not a very flush side window. And it also kind of looks like the case is a little narrow in places. It's not, it's not absolutely the greatest. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, 
Uh, oh, and, and one other thing I kind of hate is that it does have, it's got tool free installing of, of hard drives, which I like. The trouble is, is that the location of the hard drives is right at the front, at the bottom of the, uh, of the fan cage and or the fan cage the fan the fan mounts and also the fan mounts you can only have two 120s on the front it's it's a bit of a tight squeeze and uh and and yeah the the trouble is now i've got a lot of drives i've got a lot of air just blowing into into hard drives which just seems a bit moot uh and then yeah not much room for the uh Processor cooler. So I've got a, a Corsair H60. Does all right. Uh, I think it would probably do better if it was paired with a CPU that's not a 9700K. So uh, with all of that, I'm just like, I, th I need some better cooler. So uh, the case has come in the mail. The cooler has yet to come in the mail. So this will be. This is probably the last stream, the last video that I'll do with the old case. It's gonna mean absolutely nothing. Uh, in terms of software, because obviously I'm changing to physical parts of the computer. Uh, I could change the power supply as well while I'm at it. Um, and if anything, I've added extra drives in the past. As long as I don't change my primary drive or main driver, should be alright. So, I don't see anything bad. What is going on with that spider? He's just there. Can I grab him? Can I move him? He is just chilling. He is just chilling. Alright, I'm a little concerned about uh, the health. Uh, I also need a. Oh, I need a summon it. Yeah. I'm concerned about the health of. Or rather, the magic on my team. I worry that I'm not going to have enough. Um, I guess a little bit of. Uh, you know, just fighting the enemies. Getting a bit of experience. Because these guys are giving me much better experience than I once was getting. Um, so that's good. Rapid smash. Well, uh, okay. There we go. Um, I'm definitely paying a bit more attention right now, so I'll say that. Um, ooh, he's got another ability, he's got coins. Uh, someone's probably yelling at me because I don't buy items necessarily. I'm gonna have to concede getting the stone just to restore PP. Well, it was there. Now I fall, and now I gotta do that again slightly. I think I remember the gimmick was also you know, had to fall down the center of the whole thing by the end. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Ah, he's got Volcano. Ooh. That's probably good. Nice strong attack on one guy. Um, I guess while we're on the topic of, uh, consumerism and mild items, uh, my original Xbox One controller that I'd use, well, it's not original, because it's, it's, uh, the, the form with Bluetooth, so it's not, uh, it's not the absolute oldest thing in the, the world, but I'd use it a ton. I play a lot of controller games on the computer. I don't own an Xbox One. I own an Xbox One from, from 2002. If I add the year on it, it sounds a lot better, but uh, you know what I mean. I, 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 own, I don't own an Xbox One, but yeah, I, I do play a lot of controller-based games, and I've actually um, played uh, uh, awkwardly some games that people would say, why on earth did you play them with a controller? Particularly several first-person shooters that may or may not have been made by Bethesda between the years of 2000 and uh, whenever they made, I don't know when they made, uh, or started Dev on Skyrim, I guess 2007, we'll say that, sometime after Oblivion's DLC was out. Plasma. That's always good fun. Oh, that was an immediate kill. And he ran away. I think running away may be the sign of being strongly level and I have to do this again where I get an item out of the chest and then fall down again come on guys come on <laughs> uh, but yeah um, yeah the, the controller started to get a bit worn I don't know if anyone else has experienced this but uh, yeah the Xbox One controllers have a bit of a bit of a kind of 
tactile feel around the tops. Uh, it's kind of nice, I don't mind it, but uh, my hands are the sweatiest in the world and they start to get grimy and then I get grime on the, the sticks and then after a while, after a while of wiping that off, the sticks become smooth and it's a very odd feeling once they've become smooth. So fortunately right now I wouldn't experience that but uh, nothing you know stops using a spare controller. So I guess it's that. Uh, did I have trouble? Uh, oh, I just walk around. I don't know why I just blanked on that. Ugh. Uh, I can summon this boy, and we'll just attack the spider. I think people may be irritated by me constantly using Isaac's gin and not like anyone else's. Uh, that's that's just abysmal. The amount of damage you take. Jeez. Uh, give him a volcano and I guess I can use Gus there. You are now cured. Fixed. Still not enough to, to fully kill. Jeez. Uh but yeah, that like that's a bit of consumerism. I am Possibly considering grabbing uh, one of the, the newer Xbox controllers. Um, my gripes with the PlayStation controllers is that uh, uh, the more original ones felt a little small for me. Um, it's not too bad to play, you know, them on the system. It's just if I had a choice, I would rather go with the larger Xbox controller, um, which is weird because as a kid growing up, I, you know, the the um not the Duke. I never had the Duke, but I had the S variant uh, controller. And it was, like, really, really tough. Like, really hard for my 10-year-old hands. And then, nowadays, it's still a little weird, but it's, it's not too weird. This guy's very resistant. Creeper. Oh, man. Oh, phallic looking, wouldn't you think? So here we go. It's just, I mean, it's just tree. That's that's the map. It's tree. But I'm at the top here. Hey, hi there. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So in this case, just I'll spam my stuff. I'll do a forge. I'll do a gust. Hopefully, you don't kill Ivan in one hit. We'll see what happens. It runs. Should I be concerned? And before this is like a... Uh, oh, you screwed it up. How could you? In which case... Eh. Sometimes I'm after... Uh, yeah, the one thing with... The brand new Xbox One controller that I guess I'm not used to now is... Uh, ooh. Ooh, he's got the nut. Um... The, 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 uh, the shoulder buttons feel very, uh, mild. So this question, what do I do to, like, am I just intentionally having to attack? Okay, okay, okay. No, I have to kill him. I have to kill him. But this... Got it. Oh, it's, nah, nah, that's a kill. That's a kill and a half. Um, hmm. Maybe I should have saved. I can just run, can I? Uh, so they're still dead, they're still dead. Uh, any healing items, or is that just kind of like, yep. Nice job, man, nice job. Uh, well, it's that's a nice for one person. Um, hmm. darn it. Well, in that case, why don't I wander on, try and find a part of the puzzle, 
to which I'll just fall down. That seems like I'll just fall down on that leaf anyway. Yeah, that just seems like I'll fall down on that leaf. And that's kind of awkward, because I've just got to walk down. Alright, well... Back to the town. Because of my dumbie move. And I'll just wait. There is no escape! Well, it's not like he can really kill me, except he kind of can, because there's fewer targets. I hate this about RPGs, when they don't give you the healing, the the revives, quite quickly. Pokemon does it too to some extent, and it's a little obnoxious. Where, uh, yeah, you don't get revives until you visit a certain gym. Um, oh, the worst part, do I have to do this puzzle again when I come back? I think I do. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. That's a bummer. Uh. Oh, it's slow. Oh, one guy ran. Yeah, I see that there. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, in, there's not really much going on, and I think that's, that's still always a good thing, um, well, to, to an extent, you want stuff to happen, you don't want necessarily too many things happening, is that, is that general advice, or is that just me saying, uh, complacency in the world of for now. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I've got a topic. It's not particularly a, uh, a deep topic, but it's a topic nonetheless. Um, and that is, I guess, like, you know, I didn't really look back at 2020 in terms of the kinds of games that I played and the kinds of things that I did, and, and, um, and maybe some other things. Um, 2020 definitely was like a... Um, a good step for me, just in terms of, uh, uh, you know, future prospects for, for everything that I'm doing, um, but it's definitely one where, uh, do I even, can I even? I'm gonna say no, I think I gotta go all the way back unless the church is safe. And that guy's chilling there as well, did I even explore this? I don't think I did, I think I just like, walked in and was like, yep, no. Uh, did I have a church? I don't think they do. I think they're just there. Um, because I think this exit's the other way. Yep. Oop. So in that case, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Uh, unless there's something neat over there. I don't think there is. That kinda looks like a dead end, so... We'll just call it there. We'll just... not. Uh, well that is something that would irritate a lot of people, is me just losing all my party members in one bit, and then... Because I assume it's the whole die, uh, go back to the save kind of deal. Uh, so maybe I should have just been saving a bit more often. That happened a bit too soon. How was I supposed to know? Uh, so these guys have a... an in in I don't need an in. I need a priest. Oh, unless they don't have signs for it, and it's just person, and I just half missed it. So, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the short answer of 2020 being a very interesting year, but at least for me, I definitely got a lot of uh, stuff done that I wouldn't really have been able to do before. Uh, I gotta talk something else out here. Uh, so I've got to revive. You're gonna give me, like, you're gonna take all my money. Jeez. Taking all my money. Taking it all. Uh, but as for games, um, 
I haven't had anything like too particularly amazing. I definitely played quite a handful of games um, last year, and I'm actually going to like just pull it up on on uh, my end um, just to just to be able to comment on it and just just see what I've done. Um, I think this would be the the last shot before the the thing as well. So it gives me the opportunity to consider whether I'm hitting people with nothing. So if I click that, I get to see what it bumps. So that would be nothing. That would be a bit. That doesn't do anything. But there's also the long sword. I can't afford it too much, but considering I always attack with a melee on either of these characters, that seems like it's actually a pretty worthy upgrade, so I might actually go for it on, on Garrett. And you can sell the old Jordan. Sure. Go on. Hey! Uh, you get the game ticket. Okay. Uh, then there's the Hunter's Sword. You can equip it. That is significantly better than the Shaman Rod, but is the Shaman Rod intentionally for uh, upping anything else? I don't know if it necessarily looks like that. I could also do the Maze for 500, which is significantly better than the Short Sword, but... The Axe is 75, the Maze is 78. Why is the Maze so much more expensive? Do you say anything about it? It doesn't. Interesting. Uh, you can also repair weapons. That makes me concerned that weapons can actually break in this game. Oh no. That's not good. That's not a good sign at all. Um, and I assume this guy sells armor, which is probably equally as useful. He's got two menus. Wow. Alright, so we got clothing. I assume this is the gnarly one for... that is not much defense. We got shields. Uh, shields would probably be good if I didn't have 200... Well, I guess that doesn't look like it unequips my sword. That looks like it's just defense. Uh, I think the most important person would be to get something for... You've already got the bracelet. Helmet? Wow! What can you equip? Hat? You can equip, like, barely anything. Alright, so I think the robe is... I don't know if... It, and, uh, there's probably... What's the odds? There's probably, like, silent benefits to having these, but it's just like... Why does that get rid of the gloves? Okay, I guess. Hey! Another game ticket. And then I can buy... You know, this for... Uh... Oh, but I gotta trade items. Oh, okay. There's a bit of this, there's a bit of, I haven't been paying attention to my inventory, and now look at me. I'm in a wreck. I have I will sell, like, his, his moot armor. He's got a short S word, doesn't need it. He's got cotton shirt, doesn't need it. Uh, do you have anything that you don't use? Not particularly. You do have the wooden stick, you probably don't need that. Uh, so now you can buy the shield. Now you can get rid of the gloves. Game ticket, got it, because... i uh, just stock it up there. And then... You guess this is as good as mine, what's even, like, something worthwhile to get as a... <laughs> item. Armor. Just, just armor. None of these do anything. This is the best I can do, this hat. Why do you sell the circlet? For the circlet? Circuit? I don't know. Why do you sell that for so much? Who knows? So that makes me a little confused. Why, uh... Yeah, why... Ivan is just... Remarkably weak in every stat. They're fast. That's it. They're fast. I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, as typical Blendo fashion, he spends all his items or all his money on equipment and then goes, Oh, yeah. And if I ever need a, a revive, will I be able to do that? I don't know. Probably not. I could maybe fight some of the outside enemies for a little bit. They have the gear, they do not have revived, so what's the point? Yep. 
Alright, well, no revives, no gold, no cash, no cash money, I'm not doing it. Uh, and I have to log in to how long to beat, which is great, because I've got that already. So we'll save it in there. The game was saved, okay, well, one day I'll log in how long to beat. Yeah, I forgot that kept going up. Uh, log in. Uh, so off the top of my head, I can definitely remember one thing, one kind of game that I did play a lot of, and that was I was clearing through my backlog of playing every Codemasters F1 title, and this is one where everyone who knows me is like, oh, are you really going to talk about this? And I'm like, kind of. Because one thing that kind of fascinates me about this is that it's an annual franchise, but... Uh, it's an annual franchise that intentionally changes every year, and to some extent, there's some different courses each year, sometimes not, but, you know, that's, that's something. Sometimes the vehicles change, sometimes there's, uh, there's interesting things that they track, like I remember, uh, um, 2011 adding, um, the curse system, and specifically the Russia team didn't implement on the cars, so you get to play the unique game of technologically behind everyone if you would have races them. I like that. Um, just the fact that like there's curves and DRS and uh, I guess most of the games have DRS so that's that's been a staying rule. Um, but it's just kind of interesting just like different um, yeah just like the different games have different elements to them and uh, it's kind of nice on that. Um, the challenges per game varies here and there. Sometimes it's pretty good. I'm playing 2017 right now and 2017 has quite a lot of extra stuff. I'm just working through right at the end of it um, to, uh, to do a fair number of the championships because I want to see what those are about. Some of them are interesting where it's like oh it changes the rules on like you know what how the scoring is like or like whether you do two races uh, or whether it's like reverse grid order. The stuff that I find interesting about that. Um, of, of course, you can't get into the games without enjoying the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, so that's just a given. Um, ah, the beat. Uh, I'm a bit of a sucker for, um, midway arcade sim racing games. Uh, I find games like, um, a set of course would be a little trickier to get into. Um, Project Cars is another one like that, where it's like, I play it for a bit and then I go, oh. It's, it's harder to jump into it. It is tricky. Not impossible, but tricky. Um, but I find like F1 strikes a great balance. Um, Gran Turismo is a great balance. They're pretty good. Um, so let me jump to the beginning of the year because this may house a few games that I may have mentioned over the time, but uh, never particularly uh, did play them. So I remember at the very beginning of the year, uh, or rather at the end of 2019, I had bought a lot of Nancy Drew games on Steam, and I played five of them, I think? I think five. Uh, so, I'm going in a bit of a weird chronological order, where I played the first, the remake version of the first one, and then jumped to, like, the fourth one, because the remakes of the other ones were bit pricey and I kind of wanted to just like, jump in with the older ones. Um, so I played, the first one was Secrets Can Kill. I don't remember too much of that one. Um, I do remember it was in the school and it was tackling the fun topic of when the school mate gets murdered. I'm like, oh okay then I guess. Um, so that's good fun. Keep accidentally tapping the trigger if you ever uh, question why I keep Activating a spell there. Um, so it's a bit interesting in that regard, but uh, the one thing that I actually really enjoyed about, um, I guess every Nancy Drew game that I played, was that despite being made by her interactive and having that semblance of uh, the, the female... Uh, and uh, this is one where people will <laughs> take this out of context, but you know what I mean, like the, the, the Barbie era of just like... These are easy games for girls and, and stuff, because as if girls don't enjoy uh, Pokemon, you know, like that's one where it's like... 
I, I don't really understand the reasoning behind, um, you know, definitely uh, female-centric and young, young women-centric uh, games. I guess these didn't all stay, unless, nope, they didn't. Dang it. Um, you guys know what I, I mean by that. I mean, I've literally played Barbie Super Sports on this channel, so I've got a, I've got an idea of, uh, well, I played a couple of, of Barbie games as well, and they all suffered the same problem. Nancy Drew, fortunately, didn't feel like that. It definitely was refreshing to have a game that did have bit of faith in the player. It was like, yeah, like, you did have to solve this mystery. Uh, and I believe that's the only thing I have to do in order to even get to the end. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> um, you did have to solve, uh, these puzzles, and some of the puzzles did involve having to actually, like, write them down on a piece of paper. One of them I did play, um, I think I got up to, this one was a lot later in my library. Not Secret of the Scarlet Hand, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. That's the last one I've played, and that one did, indeed, give itself away quite easily. It was like, here's a PDA, everything goes in the PDA, and I'm like, why are you writing everything down in the PDA instead of letting me figure out the puzzle? So, it did have that. Um, I really enjoyed, uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand was a pretty good one. I also played, the final scene was alright, uh, was there another one? I think, I think it was just those four. I think it was just those four I played. Um, so, yeah, the quality is a little bit here and there. Sometimes the mystery is a little bit like, yeah, okay, I guess. Or you're just introducing characters to be jerks. Like, as much as I liked Secret of the Scarlet Hand, uh, they introduced this um, this character at the, uh, the embassy. And he's such a jerk to you. And he's just so much like, that's just setting him up to be, the, you know, the guy who uh, would be morally opposed to, well, morally for the crime that happened. And then, uh, yeah, you can have a huge guess as to, like, who it wasn't. It's a classic red herring. It's just like, yeah, okay. Um... But no, I, I, I enjoyed them a bit, and they're actually, yeah, they're surprisingly, um, good. And they run nicely on Windows 10. I guess that's another one. So you got a game that old, does it run nicely, and fixed resolution, but does the job. Does the job, so that's all fine. Um, right at the end of 2019, like on, oh look, that respawned, okay. Uh, yeah, like on New Year's Eve, I had finished Star Wars Jedi Knight. Mysteries of the Sith, which is the expand alone to uh, Jedi Knight. The 3D one, the, the, the one that was right after Dark Forces. Um, and uh, I liked that. I then played uh, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and then uh, Jedi Academy. The naming is the worst. It's actually abysmal. <laughs> like trying to keep track of which one's which, because you've got. Star Wars Dark Forces, Star Wars Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and then Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, which is the third one of that, but it's actually the fourth one of that, because they, they read it, the numbering, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, those last two are on the Switch, and I am amazed they got Switch releases last year. That, that just seems like, who asked for it? I'll take it. Like, well, I won't take it, I'm playing on Steam. Uh, they're really good fun. They're by um, Raven, who are best known for uh, now being eternally made, uh, making Call of Duty DLC. Rest in peace. Uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll take another stab at the chin in a moment, actually. Uh, how long is it into this stream? 34 minutes and now I'm finally back to where I was almost. Nice. Uh, so I believe I had beaten F1 2011 in 2019. I know. Um, and then I had beaten effectively 2012 through 
half of 2017 in a year. Um, so I'm catching up, I'm catching up. Uh, what else did I have? I had Final Fantasy 2 and 3. So I had played the first one uh, last... Well, 2018, I guess, 2019, I guess. Um, Final Fantasy 2 was... Eh. It was a grind fest. It was very odd. I didn't understand what was going on with Final Fantasy 2. Uh, the main gimmick of it is that you've got... Um, Oh, do I know even? I got a summon on the road. Alright, so that didn't really do a ton of damage. That did way more damage. And he ran. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it. Uh, I think I can stand by these such that I can s summon them when I walk back out. Is that a bit of a bit of a study there? I'm sorry. <laughs> um oh, that was a not save. There we go. Really? Oh! Come on, I had myself set up for the fight. Why did I... Why did I... Is there any actual way to like... Oh, I guess... Yeah, is there any actual way to... To back out? Nope, okay, you're gonna have to assume I'm just not using Retroarch, just ignore that. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't hit Start Select LR, can I? Nah, it doesn't, doesn't work on the emulator, it doesn't, doesn't quite do it. Um, so that's a shame. Uh, wow, they even saved the exact fight. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, the experience system was very bizarre. I didn't understand, like, why it was all done that way. It was quite odd. Uh, here we go. Maybe they're afraid if I use Jin Magic. They're gonna run? No, no, that's still there. And everyone takes a sizable amount of damage. Alright, it's at this point that I then panic because someone is probably gonna die, but it's not gonna be me. I've got this, maybe. Where's my... Alright, that should at least let me tank another hit. Okay, okay. I'm just going ham. We're gonna... Hopefully you don't run. Plasma! That was the... Whoa! Whoa! Dude! Dude! Dude. And that deserves a victory save. I think I remember dropping like save states trying to get these guys. I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I'm playing this legit. It there's a good feeling of just like playing a game legit now. I'm definitely enjoying that. Um so yeah, I didn't really understand Final Fantasy too much that much. It, it was very grindy. I played the uh, the PS1 version of it, so now we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> I can't jump over that. I can't jump to there. So I'm assuming I've just come in from the wrong direction. It makes sense why there's a chest there. Uh, perhaps, yeah, on this floor, maybe I just had to go left. How convenient that I went the appropriate way to, uh, I should just do regular attacks now. Ooh, ooh, now I've got two of these. That's actually good. That's actually really nice. I like that. I guess you could just attack. So now I can do Atlanta. Atlanta, sorry. But that requires me to have two of them. So I have to, like, equip one. I wonder if there's also, like, a mild job system in this game where I do need to be kind of using the... the gins to increase... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very, not very familiar with that mechanic. Um, so, then there was Final Fantasy 3. That one is one that people like a lot more. I still think that it's got its quirks, 
but it's definitely a lot better. It's got um, uh, a job system that makes a lot of sense-ish. Uh, my issue with the job system is that you are absolutely screwed if you move to a new job before a boss, you'd have to effectively fight enemies and... or to, you know, raise the job level a bit. Really try and, you know, you know make yourself a bit more usable. Why do I not have heal? What happened to my healing? Oh, wait, no, give that over to you. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely think 3 is a bit better. It's still got, um, yeah, so the quirk with the job system, and I found this one out, is that you can only, uh, you, you increase your job level, uh, by just taking actions in battle. And that gets around the whole Final Fantasy 2, you increase your stats, uh, by, uh, taking damage? thing? As in, like, in order to increase your HP, you need to lose more than half your health in a single fight? That just seems bizarre. The only way that I level up my stats is by intentionally just, like, going up to weak enemies and then getting myself kind of wrecked by them. To a certain extent, like, controllably. Like, that felt odd. So Final Fantasy 3, fortunately, it was generic enough that you could do it on anything. Unfortunately, it was based on the amount of time you had spent and not necessarily the amount of, uh, or the strength of the enemies, so I instead kept relying on going back to the beginning areas and defending a ton, which at least it's not, um, you know, at least it's not the, the same as before. So I can cast this and I'd have to cast both of them in order to be able to, to do the summon. Yeah, this, uh, this health concern, uh... I guess we'll just keep going. Uh... Other things I thought were a little annoying about, uh, 3 was, um... Some small parts of the game which required you to use Toad or Mini, and then proceeded to force you to fight enemies while Toad or Mini, which means that every melee attack you do does 1 damage, which is an abysmal amount, uh... And you can only... Oh, I can do that again. Nice. Uh, and yeah, you have to use spells, which then requires you to be classes that can only use spells. And then it's like, oh, okay. And then there's like one fight which just requires you to be um, a certain knight character. I forgot the, the name of it. Uh, but it's like you had to do a jump attack. And it's like the jump attack was just so much better than anything else. And it's like, how was anyone supposed to really like... Really know that? It's a very Nintendo powery kind of game. Um... Now the puzzle is, I believe you just cut across, like that. Why am I jumping over here again? Like, that's not... Okay, oh, I just, I realized, I've remembered. Okay. Impact! It's actually pretty neat looking. Uh... So, next up on the list, uh, I had done a run through a Pokemon Platinum with a friend. Uh, we had found out that the game was a lot shorter than we had initially anticipated. Um, which is actually, like, that's actually quite nice. And I would recommend playing uh, Platinum just because it's a, it's surprisingly shorter than you'd expect. I think it helps that we knew what we were doing. I was playing with a friend. Um, yeah, so I think I remember what it was. Unless it's the spider. No, it's the center. It's the center. Yeah. Yeah. Did I not remember that gimmick? I am gonna save as well. Just, you never know. You never know. Uh. Huh? Yep. Oh, it's probably the boss. It's probably the boss. Does anything fight me down here? Stuff must fight me down there because I'm gaining MP. And that was what the guy said yesterday. He was like, You don't get in here without cracking a few eggs. Maybe.
It's kind of weird that you can just heal by just running around like a ton. Um, so yeah, no, I, I definitely did enjoy um, Platinum a fair bit shorter. Uh, post game surprisingly was a bit shorter than you'd expect, but I'd say it's quite solid and probably the end of uh, the Pokemon that I remember a ton. I do really enjoy X, but I do need to kind of play X again. So, there's that. Um, uh, what else we got on the list? I played Morrowind. Uh, on the subject of RPGs where you abuse mechanics a ton, um, Morrowind. The Summon Dagger? Why is it way good? Uh, why is it that, like, I feel very empowered by the mid-game stuff and then very not empowered by the end-game stuff? Who knows? Um, Morrowind's definitely uh, an ambitious game, I'll tell you that. It's quite large in scope, and there's a lot of things to, like, address in it, so it's pretty big. But uh, if I had to say, like, one or a couple of things that were pretty good, one, uh, people shouldn't be daunted by the fact that there's no waypoints, because you can just literally look up the quests in the wiki if you're really, really stuck, but also there's fairly, like, large amounts of, you know, text available in game to kind of like, you know, give yourself a hint. Uh, I think I'll just top off with a cure and then I'm not going to use that much magic in a single fight, probably. Unless this guy is not the boss, in which case I just sat around doing nothing. Mm -hmm. You must die. I love the, the double face here. What's the point? Head. Uh, oh. How about that? Give yourself the boosts. Bit of damage. Bit of a thorn in his side, isn't he? Uh, so I could summon Venus, and I might as well give me a turn of heal as well. Uh, but then I can do Gust as well. That's gonna do a fair amount of damage. Okay, oh. Alright, Ivan's about to drop it really bad. Alright, so it's at this point that you then cure Ivan. Uh, do I... And then that is when you summon Atlanta. Atlanta. I keep saying Atlanta. Dude, if in 2008 I kept saying Atlanta as well, that would be hilarious. Oh, good thing he used the herb. Now they come back. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go back and. I wonder which is better, just Volcano or just Attack? Who knows? Uh, I feel like Plasma at that point would be pretty good. Oh! I got a red square on my end. And it's gone. So... Who knows what just happened. Okay. Uh... Existing Quake? Okay, sure. I guess we run through the, the motion again. Oof. Can anyone legitimately flee from this fight? Who knows? Man, that's a lot of health he needs to take. But he doesn't hit as hard as the Jin, so I think I've got a chance. I think uh, also casting out my is the easy way out. Just going, yep, like I'm just on the same motion again. Uh, that's another one I played. I played Bully. Bully's a great game. Uh, it's oh there it goes. It's the mini game game. It's like, it's exactly what GDA ended up being. It's when you got GDA, but without an actual core set of mechanics. And so, uh, it's an interesting dichotomy. I guess San Andreas definitely had a lot of stuff. What has happened to me? I guess you just beat him up so hard he stopped being angry. You defeated the evil. The evil is gone. 
I am free. Oh, what? He's gone. <laughs> what? Nah. <laughs> nice. Oof. Good on this tree. You beat him up so hard he decides to fix everything on his dying breath. Ah! Rip. You know, I never really knew them. <laughs> that's a, that's a golf thing to say. Uh, but no, Bully's a, an alright game. Curious one. Very curious one. Because it is exactly what people were... Oh wait, maybe it only killed one of the trees. You're just not gonna say anything? Maybe the other tree's got something to say. Hi there. Dang it. Okay. What a shame. Um, so yeah, no, I definitely pretty recommend Bully, and it's definitely one where if you do like your GDA, you'd be surprised how much you'd like GDA when you don't have the, the guns. Uh, doing rowdy stuff in the overworld kind of gets in the way, um, like, it prevents, it kind of gets in the way of you like, doing a mission, and you'll kind of stumble upon like, oh, I need to do a thing, and now I'm having to run away from from security. So, there's a bit of that. It's pretty alright. Uh, let's see if I can try to run through some of the other games I've also played, just kind of quickly. Uh, also, we got Tex Murphy Martian uh, Memorandum. This was the second one. A lot better than the first one, except the puzzles were not as good. About it. I can't remember too much about it. Crystalis! Crystalis is a great NES game. Uh, don't sleep on it. It is a, exactly like when people say Zelda's an RPG. No. Crystalis is the RPG that they claim Zelda is. It's got level ups. It's got action, you know, s slashy swordplay. You gotta swap items and figure out what elemental uh, stuff beats enemies. Dungeons. It is exactly like it is the action RPG in the most crude to forms. It's an NES game, of course it's a bit older. It's great though. It's on the Switch Online as well. You got no excuse not to play it, unless you don't own a Switch. In which case, I guess that's your excuse. Um, what else? I played Half-Life Opposing Force. Oh, this was an interesting one. I started getting into a little bit of a speedrunning, um, just kind of run. So, Half-Life Opposing Force, I believe. Uh, oh, how quick did I beat that? I really want to find out, because that would be pretty sick if I could find out. This was remarkably short. I, I didn't, I don't know any like huge exploits. An hour eight. One hour eight. So, that was pretty good. I like that. Um, and I, I have beaten the, uh, the full Half-Life in, I don't know if it was two and a half hours or three hours. It's definitely less than three hours. Can't remember the exact number off the top of my head, but that was definitely a, um, a fun one. The other one that I actually kind of got into was um, uh, Mario 64. At some point, I'd learn how to do a 16-star uh, run of that game. It's not too bad. Yeah, definitely don't play it off the, the Shindu edition on 3D All-Stars. But if you can uh, track an original ROM version or even just, yeah, any any ROM version. Uh, I just got double bot spam. Nice. Is that how you guys get around the freaking... The... The, um... Ooh, snap, the... I just realized as well, the, uh, the text disappeared a little quicker than, than I expected. Um, yeah, so I guess everyone's still a tree. Um, but yeah, I I guess... Uh, oh, okay, chat's just gonna disappear quick today. Um, yeah, I was sorting around with the, the, the chat um, stuff because, yeah, I'm using the Streamlabs chat, but I've got like a custom CS or a custom JavaScript on it to try and make it so it, uh, shows the messages from the top and then clears them off properly. Uh, this had existed from a while back and I had never, uh, really fixed it up. Uh, so sometimes then I have the issue of, like, 
it doesn't actually clear the element and the text just keeps getting pushed down the screen, which is not great. So I tried fixing it, I didn't really fix it in time for the stream, I tried reverting back and I guess I didn't change the time to for the message to disappear. That's that's not on the JavaScript, it's just not on the stream live settings. Um, So I wonder where you go now, if uh, if the trees are dying and they're like, get out of the forest because everyone's gonna die. Or I'm just killing everyone, as well. I love how two different bots came on, said the exact same thing, and then the classic thing about the bots, they leave immediately. There's no trace, the average viewers don't even care. You know, it, it's not a problem to your metrics. It's amazing. So... Uh, here's something though, it's like, I want to become famous, but then it's like, are you really becoming famous? By buying followers? The worst part is that like, Twitch does incentivize having at least a number of followers to reach uh, affiliate status, and then uh, yeah, you get people doing that. Uh, you used to have people try to game YouTube a bit, but I think that's died down. I think that's definitely died down. Um, uh, I would imagine more people would... Yeah, I imagine more people would be reacting to me if I had to actually go this way, so... Hmm... Top of my head, what's going on? What is... What is happening? Where do you go? Um... Yeah, back to back to games. Um, yeah, so I I have managed to beat Mario 64 in 30 and a half minutes, and I really wish that I could do it in less than 30. It's gonna take a couple of goes, but uh, my biggest issue is that I can't actually do the um, the second half of the the stars very quickly. I kind of struggle with getting the Hazy Maze Cave stars. Um, must be something back in the town, right? If they're just telling me to leave. I don't have any, like, I don't have a healing. Do I have Cure Well? I can't attack the group, though, with that. Attack, air yeah, quotes. And you can't talk to them, and you can't, like, move. Oh, you can mind control. I'm a dumb... Mind read. Maybe I should, uh, change the L shortcut to mind read. Someone was probably disappointed I didn't do any of this. I didn't <laughs> read anyone's minds going into here. And there's also that guy sitting there. I'm glad a lot of these trees see the irony in what they've become. Imagine having sentient trees and then just like being a village of woodcutters. That's just a bit ironic, isn't it? Uh, so what else is that? I played Fear 1 at the beginning of the year. Uh, Fear is a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I don't have too much to say about it. It's a bit standardy shooter after a bit. Uh, there's jump scares, which are incredibly obnoxious. I lost the feeling of jump scares in the sequels, which I played uh, maybe not at the end of last year. They were definitely the beginning of this one. Uh, there's somewhere that you go down, such as you go back up again. Someone's probably kicking themselves right now because it's like, oh, you dumby, you had to go to mind read the tree and you walked away like an idiot. And now you gotta do the puzzles again. Do be like that, don't it? Listen, I'm not the smartest one and, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um,. So yeah, uh, I enjoyed Fear a bit, um, so what's another one? I play Banjo-Tooie. I, like, I remember people saying that, like, Donkey Kong 64 is collectible spam. Banjo-Tooie is legit the collectible spam. It is peak. No, Banjo, sorry, Donkey Kong 64 is peak. Banjo-Tooie is overkill. Banjo-Tooie is too big. There's too many things to, like, look out for. You got massive levels, you got bajillion mini-games you gotta do in these levels. You gotta, like, you play Banjo-Kazooie, it's like, yo, oh, like, there's ten, uh, what's up, Bratzo? There's ten, um, like, jiggies in the level. It's like, oh, okay, sure, They're, like, simple enough, you know, something's like on top of this, or kind of over here. You play Banjo-Tooie, it's like, everything is a puzzle to figure out. It's like, whoa, what's going on there? Um, I definitely recommend play Donkey Kong 64 first, because I thought Donkey Kong 64 was the one people hated, but um, it's not that bad. The The thing with Donkey Kong 64 is just that uh, you gotta keep switching characters. It gets a little irritating, but it's not the worst. Um, for reference, Bradzo, I'm just going through the list of games that I played last year. Um, currently I've caught up to... March. It will slow down. I, I definitely played some longer games near the end of the year. Uh, and also, uh, in Golden Sun, I am figuring out, uh, after saving the tree spirit, I am wondering where the game really wanted me to go. I walked out of the forest, and I think I made the big mistake of walking out of the forest. I think I shouldn't have, so... Uh, that's gonna be a bit annoying, <laughs> having to half-solve these puzzles again. The third time now. One one time going through normally, and another time because I botched this up. And yeah, this is the 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 big puzzle. It's not even that bad. This puzzle. It's just like you gotta take a lap. Probably do another fight. Um. So another game that I played uh, was uh, Air Combat, uh, which later became known as Ace Combat that franchise. I forgot to... Mm, I forgot to... Whoops. Can't believe I messed it up. Um, yeah, that became Air Combat. Oh, sorry, Ace Combat. Um, the original is very interesting. I absolutely love Namco's old PS1 games. There's just this great, like, rough polygonal charm to it, and especially it's got its bits. I loved the canyon bit, I loved the night bit, I really did enjoy it. It's actually quite good. It, it's a little aimless at times, like it's a little bit like, oh, like where's where's the enemies gone? They're just kind of there on the radar and you just gotta fly to them and that's about it. But it was pretty alright. I enjoyed it. Um, next up on the list, Rayman Legends. I had never actually like 100% of this and now I've done this. Cool. Recently found your Twitch account. I actually discovered you like 10 years back during a Bugs Life playthrough. Dude, I actually really want to play Bugs Life again. Um, I Every time like I think about like those older games, the ones that I did play on my channel, I have pretty fond memories of them. So I'm glad that, like, one, people somehow remember me from 10 years back. Hopefully I don't sound too different. Um, I think 10 years back, it's a safe one. 12 years, maybe. 10 years. Safe bet I might sound the same. Uh, I recently kind of put my channel on a bit of hiatus, um, so I hadn't done like any kind of let's playing since like 2016, 
Um, and then I just kind of wanted to like bring it back in a bit of a stream format, so... Wow! It's almost as if I should have just done this before, and the worst part as well is that like... If I had wandered around a bit, I probably would have figured this out. <laughs> um... So, yeah, next up on the list, yeah, Rayman Legends. I really did enjoy Rayman Legends. I still stand by that it's a really, really good game, although it's a lot quicker than I'd expect. Okay, so that guy's just burdened everyone, and the tree... Left tree just kind of goes for it. Okay, sure. Sweet. I'm glad I just wasted all everyone's time coming back up here again. Just to find that out. But... Worthwhile cause. Now we know it. So, find the lighthouse, which is probably somewhere else, and then I win. The game's over. <laughs> so, next up on the list, Disruptor. Uh, Disruptor is a PS1 game from a small developer studio no one's ever heard of called Insomniac. Uh, it's a hilarious uh, first person shooter with full motion video uh, cutscenes. They're very cheesy, I love it. Um, honestly, I don't remember too much of the game. I do remember it has some neatish levels. It actually is a console shooter that makes a bit of sense. Um, just at least coming out a bit before a bunch of other games. Um, it's still a little rough around the edges. It's a PS1 game that came out before the dual analog and therefore has a little bit of that age to it, but I think it stands all right. Uh, and some of the levels get a little annoying at the end. But it was pretty all right, I think I remember. Um, I played GTA 4 again because it had uh, Steam achievements and I was like, sure, why not? Uh, the Steam, well, it's the same achievements as the, um, as the Game from Windows Live ones. I just have never gone out to get them. And now I have all of them. So now I can safely say uh, beating GTA 4 in 30 hours is quite easy. If you know what you're doing. That's about it. Um, this was a bit of an odd one. I, uh, I was like, oh, I need like a, a quick... For me, as long as the gameplay is fun, I don't really care about graphics, etc. Definitely, like, graphics... Um, yeah, you'd be surprised how many older games uh, are out there that uh, you may never have heard of because people don't recommend it because it's not the most graphically, you know, demanding game. Everyone mentions Crisis. That's a game that gets a lot of love. Um, there's definitely a lot of, like, newer stuff as well. I think it's kind of stagnated a bit. Games around the, the mid to late PS3, Xbox 360 era probably hold up visually a lot better than, um, you know, maybe this game on a handheld, for example. It's got a lot of neat effects, but the resolution is definitely one that you have to just kind of give yourself a bit of imagination for. But I definitely do feel a lot of 90s games are ones that people can get into. Give it a little bit of time. You can get into that stuff. So I might be recommending quite a few in this list um, as well that uh, might pique your interest as well. So uh, yeah, GTA 4. Everyone knows GTA 4. Uh, this one was a fun one. I had then played Mario's Picross for the Game Boy. Uh, surprisingly simple. Um, I guess this was like the first Picross title that Nintendo really went into. Um, and therefore it's a little simple, yeah. I think the thing that holds it back is that the maximum puzzle size ended up being a 15 by 15 puzzle, which is... Oh, was it 15 by 15? I think it was 15 by 15. And, like, that's alright, it's just that they suddenly, you know, they gradually become a bit easy to solve over time. So that's not too bad. But I think the game's nice and simple, it's got its, um, does what it has to do. Uh, that's a bridge, and I assume the lighthouse is maybe on this corner? That's just a pier. Hmm. Okay. Uh, then later I played Mario Super Picross, the Super Nintendo one. It's a lot better. In fact, if you play Picross DS, it is virtually what ends up being Picross DS, just... Uh, Mario themed. One thing I absolutely love about it is after you do a little bit of the game, uh, you then can't continue on because that guy is still a tree. Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? Hmm. Where is the lighthouse? Maybe it's up here. Nope. Unless it's like a hidden freaking spot on the map. Who knows. Um, but no, I definitely did enjoy Mario, Mario's Super Picross. Now, there was also 
by extension, the Satellaview Picross titles. Now, there's more out there that people don't have uh, recorded, but I played a couple of them, obviously. How does anyone play a Satellaview game nowadays? So, um... But they were interesting, because it's, uh, it's the first, like, Satellaview game I actually did play. Uh, it's silent, it's definitely that, but I like just it conceptually. It's actually kind of neat. Um, next game on the list, Hitman Absolution. I played the other ones leading up to this one. Uh, Hitman Absolution was... I think every Hitman game gets better, except then Absolution kind of had, like, a fair bit of fluff in it. So the levels that you did get to really explore and really get to figure out, like, various parts, were great. There's only a handful of them, that's that's the, the catch. And then this doesn't lead anywhere, right? Where's the lighthouse? Hmm... I'm in a predicament. Uh... I think Absolution's still a fine game though, people probably hate it too much. It's... It's a game that holds up visually. It's actually, it's quite nice, I like that. Oh, and the villain is so cartoony. Wow! Wow! They're just like crazy rednecks, like what? <laughs> like, sure, I guess. And also the weird, like, selling the... Uh, like, the orphan girl... Subplot, uh... Can I just access the door from the backside or not? Ooh, okay. Now I'm gonna wander around a ton trying to figure out where this lighthouse is. I wouldn't mind more signs. Yeah. Uh, next one. Sonic CD. This had been in my Steam library forever. I'd never actually been it. And now I have. And I can safely say Sonic CD is the... Uh, it's definitely not the most amazing Sonic title, but it's definitely kind of alright. I think one thing I kind of wish about Sonic the Hedgehog is that... Uh, it's a little too fast and a little too, like, it knows it doesn't need to spend time on things and it just goes for it, so some of the mechanics seem a little undercooked. Um, definitely the game's short. It's a bit shorter than you'd expect. I think all of them. Every single Sonic game is a bit shorter than you'd expect. That's a tough one. Um, obviously the, uh, the PC version, it's pretty neat. You can listen to multiple soundtracks, uh, the Japanese or the American one. That's nice. And it runs at a really nice resolution and runs fine, so that's good. Doom 64, uh, that's a fun flip side. This one was an interesting one, because I actually didn't uh, buy Doom Eternal, but I have played Doom 64 in uh, the old Doom 64 EX uh, ways, which was good fun. Um, and this is basically that. In fact, it's the same guy. And I know, I know, I follow him on Twitter. He's, he's a cool chap. Um, uh, so Doom 64 EX, Doom 64, for some reason, they made their own Doom game for the Nintendo 64. Uh, and this is a port of that, and it's a really good game. It's got great level design. It, it's it, way good. Um, Biblin Cave Entrance. Is that a landslide or is that poop? I've got myself very lost. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, next one on the list. Uh, Perfect Dark. Uh, it's Goldeneye. It is literally Goldeneye. Uh, I like the variety in what you do. Um, there's a bit of... bit of vehicle work in there. I might as well save, because I did fight a lot of enemies on the way as well. Uh, there's a bit of vehicle work in there. There's quite a number of weapons and I actually, it's really admirable like how much like kinds of things they did cram onto the cartridge. Uh, including uh, voice acting. So it's it's pretty good. I 
I'd say Perfect Dark's great. Uh, my, I guess, issues, it runs like a bit of a chump, and it's... I can guarantee I'm not going to be able to do this, because unless... Cause you don't... This is... That's not moving, that's like melt. Isn't it? And that doesn't move, that melts. Yeah. And I don't have anything that melts. So what am I doing yet? Who knows? I don't know why I decided to run from that. But you can just travel through it. Maybe this is the way to go. The enemies aren't, like, too off for me. It introduced one other enemy. Maybe this is the way to go. Hmm. Uh, next on the list, um, while I'm on the subject of, uh, Codemasters Racing Games, is, uh, F1 Race Stars, which is their Mario Kart game, but loosely based off Formula One drivers from the 20... 12 season and racetracks from the 2012 season it's a very bizarre game who did this the same people who make the actual games it's a miraculous it's not particularly the fairest game in the world it's kind of cheap you will definitely lose the AI in ways that you really shouldn't but that's all right uh, there's also Toy Box Turbos. This game definitely probably feels like a mobile game and it was really quick and I was over with it in a moment and then I went on the forums and found one guy to get the one multiplayer achievement. I was like, are you using an emulator for this game? I am using an emulator for this game. I am running it through RetroArch through the MGBA core. Seems to be doing alright, definitely a lot better than back in the, the Visual Boy Advanced days. Emil. Emil. Love the name. Be an epidemic? Oh no. Oh. Grandpa, are you standing one and a half meters away from that man? Get me a what? <laughs> oh, that's such a bad one. Are you doing them? Nah. No lies. You gotta watch out. It's a very topical thing to speak of illness. Oh, welcome to our inn. Would you like it? Nah. I've got a lot of money now, I just realized. Nice. Sure. Ah. Uh, did you just give me a menu? Okay. Uh. So yeah, Toy Box Servos, it's... It's... Yeah, nah, just don't. Uh, Lara Croft Go! Really good game. Uh... Puzzly. In fact, it is just a puzzle game, uh, but the presentation is really top shelf. Really good. Um, you'll kind of be over it after a bit, but I really like the way that it presents itself, and it's surprising that it's a Tomb Raider game that kind of has a bit of the vibe of the older Tomb Raiders, but then, like, I don't know, it's, it's weird, because it came out after Tomb Raider 2013. Uh... Yeah, it's 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 a bizarre title. The only Tomb Raiders I've yet to play, I haven't played um Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I haven't played uh the um the top down co-op ones. Um but main series, really good. Maybe I'll play Tomb Raider 4. That one's my personal fave in there. Uh maybe I gotta figure out how to play Tomb Raider 4 again. Jeez. Um Everybody's dead. Oh! Be gone! I appreciate this. Ah, oh, well, why do you ask? Tyrannid 4 is very long. It is very long. It is very long. I I really do like how deep the puzzles get, though. Because I I have, like, some some gripes of... Especially Tomb Raider 5. It's just like, oh, I can... I'm freezing. There's a freeze coming to Gotham. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of... Uh, Tomb Raider 4. I, I just think 5 is one where it's like, yeah, but like, it's a step back. It's like the puzzles are nowhere near as deep, and on top of that, it's a lot shorter. And also, it has this really awkward combat bit with these invincible enemies. Like, I I would always run out of ammo on that. Um, is it an assault rifle or is it an SMG? Kids take over, man. This is just Jimmy Neutron. 
Oh, oh, oh. Sure. So Mia was coming here. Got it. Why don't we just talk around? See you, Mia. Ugh. The endless non skip cutscenes in TR5 are the biggest drawback. There, there's a lot of non-skip cutscenes, like, jeez. If anything, there's something great about 4 and it not really having cutscenes. 2 doesn't really have that many as well. 2 is great. 2 is actually way good. Much better. You had a miracle worker, Mia. So, yeah. Uh... As a follow-up, I played Hitman Go. Hitman Go, I believe, came out before. Um, it's a little rough around the edges. I had the achievements absolutely bork on me. They would just unlock, and I'd be like, oh, cool, I guess. Sure. Um, uh. Uh. No, it cannot be. Oh, no, there was the Alex. Yeah, so Hitman goes a bit clunkier, and on top of that, it is nowhere near as deep. It stops, so I definitely say Tomb Raider 1 is fairly worthwhile. You're just gonna run to the lighthouse, aren't you? That looks like you just went into it. Did she run off anywhere else here, or like. I. That's one thing, is it like, do I go into the, the lighthouse, or is she gone? Is she gone? That's snowman, I tell ya. Just gonna glance around again. That's one thing about this game, it doesn't quite make clear where, like, something happened. That person did just run off. Mentioned like, person, mentioned lighthouse, and then they're gone, and I don't want to make the mistake of just running to the lighthouse. I play enough Pokemon to know how to do this. Maybe. Maybe. wonderful spam messages. I do! They... Oh, were they the same ones from earlier? No, that were the old ones. Alright. Thank you, Gins. Appreciate it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm surprised they both came at the same second, so I don't know, like, what kind of bots are going around. It's a waste of bot, I tell ya. Uh... I don't think I'm able to go up there yet, because it kind of looks like a bit of an impossible... Ice maneuver here, where I've got to like somehow end up on top of that. So yeah, best I can say is maybe we just go go to the bottom. So uh, next up on the list, uh, Sonic Lost World. Uh, kill me with that. Jeez, that game was atrocious. I actually really hated Sonic Lost World. Someone will tell me it's average. At least it's not Sonic Forces or Sonic 06. And to that I say. But it's definitely not Sonic, like, Generations. Okay, this is something. It kind of implies, like, I'm gonna put an item in there. 500 HP? Like, jeez. I assume I come back deep in- oh, well, I come back deep in the spring. With the- with the bottle, and then... Yeah? Anyway. Oh no, too bad. <laughs> what is going on up here, I tell ya. Who did this? Who did this with the map geometry? Jeez, what am I looking at? Is that a wall? What? Is... Come on guys. Come on guys, that's a bit of crazy geometry there. Also, may I just add, there's a 
bit of faith in getting the player to figure out that they need to walk this direction. Did you do that? Nope. Okay. Good old meditation. Uh... So, yeah, no, uh, Sonic Lost World, don't. Uh, last one on the Codemasters list, uh, Grid Autosport. I like it. People think it's average. I like it. Uh, you got a fair number of tracks. What is it going on here? Did you just heal the door? You healed the door. And it became not a door. Amazing. Wow. That's... Oh, why... You... Mm, you're just not... You're not... You're not giving it your all. You're not giving it your all. Uh, am I healed? Kind of. Am I saved? Kind of. <laughs> uh... No, I really did enjoy Crit of Sports. So there's that. Uh... What other ones? Night Trap. Uh, that's a game. Uh... Th thank you, Fair. <laughs> thank you very much, Fair. Uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, by the way, if you want. Lizard Man! Oh, you're losing back when you do that. Okay. Do people actually buy Twitch Prime? Like, they have to know I'm not an affiliate, so I don't get anything out of that. And also, it's buy followers and then the Prime comes? Like, why would you go through all that work? Let's go for Twitch Prime. I just don't even know. Twitch Prime's not that pricey, guys. You don't have to buy bots uh, to get Twitch Prime. Uh, I might as well do a summon. Summon spam away. Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> well, that definitely did kill him. Wow, you'd be pleased to know that I... Mm, you are running away. He who honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all, like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. Okay. I see how this is going. Uh, while well, I'm at it. I remember having a fun time jumping around here. Okay. What am I gonna do? Oh no. Oh no. Idiot. Oh. There goes my phone. Maybe. Yeah, I do actually. Just actually party up. Party up. Hey, there it is. So now... Ooh, and you've got one of your own. That's cool. Do you go into the waterfall at some point? or just... What are her powers, by the way? She's got frost. That's the thing. That's the one. You gotta know how to... You gotta know how to frost, because that's gonna come up. Like... Uh, oh. Like... Yeah, okay. Ah! What's she got for battle? She is definitely the healer. She heals much better. And she cures poison. So I guess it's that. Uh... Next on the li oh, I, Night Trap. So yeah, Night Trap is definitely it's an interesting game. I'm really glad I played it because it is absolutely miraculous that it exists, and it's there's a bit of love put in this uh, this version. So I do like it. Um, I also played the other two games that were done by the same devs. They later did Double uh, Switch, which is a more competent game to play, but not as much a competent game. Uh, as in, to be fun, it's not as cheesy. Uh, it plays it a bit more straight, and it's actually like, oh, okay. 
And also, it's, it gets a little dog with the, the required, like, bits. <sighs> it's like, so, so those games, you basically just, like, wait until a pre-run thing happens in certain rooms and you gotta stop them. Uh, Night Trap only required you to do, like, the story-based ones. And you'd know, because there's a main character about to cop it, and you, you save them out of that. So, sure. Sometimes it's a little annoying, like, uh, for example, the first required one, which happens 12 minutes in, by the way, it's crazy. You're just noodling around this game. People are telling you you're not doing a, a good job, but actually, there's no I, I'm an idiot as well. I'm wandering around going, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's not like I've literally got the ability to freeze these. Uh, or not. Eh. Okay. I'm not an idiot, haha. -ha. Um, so Night Trap's an interesting one. It's quite forgiving. Uh, they were also nice enough to add a little endless mode to Night Trap. Um, it's incredibly easy. I think I'm like the ninth like, of all time on that list. So, uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I did enjoy Night Trap. I'd say it's definitely a worthwhile game to play. Uh, the other ones, so Double Switch, yeah, same game, a little more intricate, and it's not as fun. You don't just, like, switch over to the screen and press the button, and then, like, listen in for, uh, for the people saying, like, I think the code is blue. You don't, you don't get to hear them say that, they're just kind of like... Uh, it, it's actually kind of interesting, it's like, they'll shine, or like, there's certain points when the character operates a panel, and it shows a number, and then by the end of the, the act, you just have to have the number. I'm either stuck... Or I forgot that that was the case. Yeah, okay. And now I'm around the other side, which means none of that is actually gone, isn't it? Yeah, I don't... okay. I was just say I had a, had a Game Grumps moment then. <laughs> um... So... Yeah, that was that. Uh, the last one, Corpse Killer, is a shooter. And not a very good one at that. It's actually pretty average. Um, it has like this weird like jump scare mechanic where a zombie like appears in your face. It was not in the original Sega CD version, but then I found out that it was made for the Saturn as well. So, uh, um, it's incredibly cheesy and repetitive. Actually, incredibly repetitive. You go through, you literally do the exact same game four times to play um, Corpse Killer, and then the final boss just—it's like, was that actually the final boss? It, Felt like a joke. Felt like a fever dream. Uh, are they permanently asleep? I assume not. I think poison would be the only one that would last. Ah, wallers. Gotta watch out. At least you can also do a little bit of attacking stuff. I think that's always a plus. Um, to all the people who are just tuning in, I'm just running through the list of games that I played last year. And if you played anything or you have uh, any comments on anything I say, feel free to chime in. It's all good. Uh, what else? Gran Turismo. I really like Gran Turismo. It's just a replay. I'm just playing it again. I really like it. It's good fun. Uh, Fallout 2. I played the first one a bit ago. Oh, this is just like you push it, don't you? Because it's ice. This is going to take forever. Wow! This is going to take forever. Um, so Fallout 2, I thought was better and worse. I liked having more things to do. I liked having more subplots. I didn't like how it really just wanted you to just noodle around and find other things until inevitably you were strong enough to actually beat the game. Um, it had a, uh, yeah, that issue of, like, I, I'd wander into a spot only to then be forced into combat and then go, Ugh, I can't actually do this. And that, that was really annoying. That did get in the way of my enjoyment. But, there's a car. I enjoyed that. That was pretty good. Uh, oh, I got more of these dudes. Wow. Wow, there's too many of them. So, yeah. I'd say Fallout 2 is pretty alright, though. Uh, Halo Combat Evolved. I had the Xbox Game Pass for a bit. I played the first Halo. Uh, this is Sacrilege. I didn't think it was too amazing. Now, I didn't play much multiplayer because 
Uh, the problem with the Halo Master Chief Collection is that Halo 3 or Reach or 4 is the best one. Uh, and it's definitely not 1, so people aren't really playing 1. Unless it's in like a random playlist, maybe, but it's very hard to get in the game at 1, so... I ended up playing a lot of Halo 3 multiplayer instead. But I played Halo 1 on... what's the one under? Heroic? Uh, I tried Heroic. I got kind of wrecked on the third level, unfortunately, so... Uh, but I played the rest and it was pretty alright. Uh, honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all. Yep, okay, I did it. Honors the heart of the goddess. Heal it. I assume that's what you want me to do, right? Yeah, that seems alright. Apart from me not doing it on the center, but sure. Do I heal again? No, because that's... Oh, and now I can go on water! Hey! Well, that was worthwhile. But now I've probably activated a few other bits, so that's that's probably the yeah. yeah. So now I can go one, two, three, four. So this was the fun. Was like, where does it want you to go? That'd be amazing if you could actually get soft locked, but. I think I can get that. I can get that. I know, right? This is a wowie game, I tell ya. I'm just like, woo, every single, every single second. Every single second. Uh, so let's keep going to the list. Uh, Marble Madness. I beat it. I'm, I'm proud of that one. Um, <laughs> it just took a fair number of goes. But eventually, you too can beat Marble Madness. Uh, Metal Slug X. Good game. Uh, you can kind of free play it. The challenge is a bit gone, just, you know, play for score. I died a lot. Unreal 2, this one was a little disappointing. Uh, definitely, yeah, there's a trend of like when a, when a retro shooter just suddenly, like, when they just suddenly, you know, become too modern. I think that's a... Ooh! I think I gotta go this way. Ugh. How often do you stream? Uh, I aim to stream... I try it twice a week, but the odds are right now once a week. Uh, it's a bit of a... Whenever... Uh, I'm more available, I guess that's... That's something as well, but... In general... Oh, I gotta start from the beginning? Or I guess I could just go left, can't I? Oh, that's a... That's a spot. That's a spot. Okay, you do have to go all the way. Um, so, yeah. I didn't really... Yeah, I didn't really think um, Unreal 2 was particularly amazing. It had this, like, beautiful, like, uh, bit near the end. Cool, that's fair enough. Yeah, I, I do want to, like... Uh, oh, I do want to stream, I mean, kind of regularly, but not... Uh, yeah, how do I how do I do this? I guess the nice thing is that because I'm doing streams now, I don't really have to edit the videos. I just kind of have to dedicate the time to play it and then put it up. I yeah, I think my concern is that I don't want people to watch like way too much. Um, I guess that's one where it's like it's up to people to decide whether they want to watch the videos or not. But legitimately, if I'm playing through a game like ridiculously fast, that is gonna like a lot of people are not gonna they're not gonna really. Uh, I guess stay tuned. They're not going to really keep up. It's a toughie. Uh, I've been doing. Uh, I've been claiming that I wanted these streams to be like an hour long, and they end up being two hours, which fair enough. But uh, okay, so now I'm in. Now I'm in the corner. Okay, and so that's if I want to go back. Sure. So now I'm in this room, and I can guarantee that. 
is definitely what I was expecting. Gosh, my nose is a bit runny. Oh boy, this is this is gonna end up fine. Um, all right, water puzzles. Ah, okay. Let's see how this is. It's definitely a toughie for me, but you know, if people are very willing to to watch, um, I really don't want to push more than four hours of content a week. That's that's way too much. Like even even I have trouble keeping up with like four hours of content from a single creator. So I definitely do want people to uh, be able to, to catch up and push my stuff. So if anything, I don't want to stream for too long. Uh, it may be um, you know more than four hours. Or rather, four hours in like one sitting, we'll see, but definitely not today, because I'd be way tired. Uh, so I'll try and run through the rest of these games. Uh, Incredible Crisis, meme of the game, love it. Um, surprisingly easier than you'd expect. Oh, oh, oh. That healed Mimi. M Mimi? Mia. So, uh, yeah, Incredible Crisis could mean. Uh, Toonstruck. Toonstruck is a surprisingly great game. Uh, Point and click adventure game, it's live action uh, on top of digitized sets, but uh, it's actually got like big name actors. So, like, Christopher Lloyd is like legitimately the main character and he does everything. I'm like, that's amazing. It's, a, it's on Steam, legit. Get that game if you want like a really good point and click game. And it's not even that obscure, like, in terms of uh, how to actually beat it. It's really well thought out. I liked it. Quite a lot. Uh, let's see. I played Phantasmagoria. Phantasmagoria 1 is a very cheesy game. Uh, Phantasmagoria 2 is a little bit cheesier, but it actually works. I think it works a lot nicer. Uh, so, the, my issue with Phantasmagoria 1 is that, yeah, it's like... It's like very little build-up to like this weird, uh, I guess, end of game like chase sequence uh oh this is gonna be the fun part how do i stop it from going all the way because it's gonna go like some of the way and i want to go some of the way i want sorry i do want to go somewhere i want to stop here ah got it got it yep uh so i definitely kind of recommend both phantasmagories but they both go kind of pricey the second one seems cheaper but it actually was a more fun game uh, i'll say the second one's better the second one has a very bizarre ending the first one, at least, it has a very, like, that is a classic ending, and it's also got some of the most ridiculously good, like, two frames of gore. I swear. Wow. Like, <laughs> like, legit, legit. Anyone who's played Phantasmagoria, I swear, that brief bit of gore is like, where did this come from? It's amazingly gruesome. I love it. Um, the rest of the game is really cheesy. Really cheesy. Uh, the second one, yeah, the second one's a lot better. And the second one has, like, this great, like, you know, this very ominous vibe. It's right off the bat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Am I looking for a door or am I looking for positions? I'm looking for a door. It's never the first one. Hey, <laughs> God is not nice. Good on him. Uh... So what else? What else? Uh, the Blob 2. I had actually, I had owned the Blob 2 on the Wii. I had never finished it. I have now finished it on the PC. And it's definitely more the Blob. I don't have much to say about it. I think the Blob was kind of a weird... Um, like, it's a good game. It's just, uh, I think it has a bit of an identity crisis after a bit. Especially the second one. The second one has some kind of annoying bits to it, so... Uh, is this a different room where I have to still try and figure out which corridor to go down? Ooh, snap! Okay. We'll find another one of these guys. Hopefully it doesn't wreck me. He's probably gonna wreck me. We'll see. Or he just joins me. No, he fights me. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's... I appreciate that these, uh, do the whole party. That's nice. And that is a, that is a heal. Uh, can I just like, oh, I guess I can just use them, because that's true. Uh, I think the best thing to do would be to start with an ice, actually. 
Uh, so we'll keep going on. Uh, what else is in my list? Uh, I played Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. I never actually beaten it. Um, before. So now I have, and it is... Yeah, it's hard. Jeez. The number of times I spent on the end of that game. Jeez. I think I played the, um, the All-Stars version. No, I, I... Yeah, I played the All-Stars version. Um, which is nice and fair. It lets you replay the last world. So you do have to kind of get good at the last world, but in general it's pretty alright. Please draft me. Nice. Uh, so let's cure Ivan. I don't have anything to really, like, hit everyone with. So that's something. Uh, I guess I can just draw Isaac as well. Um, next up on the list uh, is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I was, I'm very harsh on the original Tomb Raider 2013. Rise of the Tomb Raider is actually pretty good, I liked it. Um, I, I don't say that about like modern games too much, but Rise of the Tomb Raider definitely did kind of have my, have my interests at heart. It was pretty good. Um, so I did really like it. Um, it's, it's got the exploring, it's got the kind of supernatural aspects to it, the combat is tastefully placed, it doesn't feel like Lara just goes gung-ho, it's like, no, these people want to kill Lara and Lara's gonna kill them. Like, that's it. Nice and simple. Don't worry about it. Uh... This is... Oh, who am I healing with Isaac? I wasn't paying attention. So, Isaac needs to heal, uh... Isaac needs to heal Ivan. Yep. So go with, uh... Yeah, go with the Volcano. You go with the Ad Atalanta. And you go with a Ply on Garrett. Garrett needs Alright, here we go. Um, no, no, Rise of the Tomb Raider is pretty right. I think the DLC is a little bit here and there. I think the, the tacked on little campaign bit, the Bobby Yeager bit. It's okay. Feels a little out of place, to be honest. A lot of games have the drug trip. A lot of modern games have the drug trip sequence, and that's that's something that's kind of interesting. Um, uh, I feel like I kind of need to cure that as well. Dang. Uh, and you can you can get back into it. You can just go for another forge, yeah. And you got to actually go for it. So, uh, and you can actually summon the mercury, and we'll see how this goes. Oh, we did. Nice. Nice. I do like these gins as like little mini bosses and optional mini bosses where it's like you then get the, the benefit of kind of increasing the strength of your attacks. That's that's nice. I like it. Uh, so obviously it equips onto the wrong person. Like I feel like you don't want to mix and match your, your types too much. Or well, maybe you do. Maybe later. Uh, so there was that. Uh, Far Cry 2. People really like it. Not the biggest fan. It's actually it's a bit sloppy. I'm sorry. Like I I like the bits of it in the sense that like you know oh it's a like Far Cry poo. It is like Far Cry poo, Yeah. Uh, Far Cry Three has the drug trip. Far Cry Three is much more well structured. I like Far Cry Three. It does also have uh, a bit of that modern uh, shooter kind of feel to it at places, but. In general, I think Far Cry 3 is a bit better. Far Cry 2 is like... The guns are intentionally annoying. The jamming, it gets in your way. The missions, they keep repeating. And then the diamonds, they're everywhere. And you really can't find them. And then they're on ledges. And you're like, why are they on legends? I, I don't know. So, And then the story just kind of happens. And you like, who's supposed to be the bad guy? I don't know. The bad guy like saves you like four times in the game. I don't know, you still have to kill him. It's a weird one. Uh, I like it in terms of that's the freedom. They gone get wet. So I'd say just stick with Far Cry 3. Uh, I played Gex Enter the Gecko, the N64 version of Gex 3. Um, I'd probably say stick with the PS1 version, uh, but Gex 3 is a pretty alright game. I like the variety of the levels, it's pretty neat. I think people do like Gex 2 a bit more though, so I'll they probably may enjoy Gex 2 a bit more. Uh, probably. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D, uh, 20th Anniversary World Tour. Uh, it's Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah, 
Uh, the fifth episode is surprisingly alright. I like the idea of them really cramming stuff into it, uh, to... because they don't have really, like, computer limits anymore. It's a 20-year-old game at that point. Like, it should run fine on newer systems, and it, and it does. And, and I like how they're using a bit of an in-house uh, upgraded engine, just so it runs nicely, um, even if it is an e-juke, which the 3D Realms version shipped with e-juke, so... Eh. Uh... I don't know if you can run the, the extra episode on YouTube, like, by yourself. I don't know if people distributed that on its own. Maybe. Uh, it ends a little disappointingly, but I think it's got, like, a bit of content that warrants at least some purchase on the sale, if you've played Jeep Income before. It doesn't have the episodes, though. Uh, I'm eternally wandering around this place. It keeps going. Sure. We got some more. Uh... Not too many more. Uh, Alien Storm, that's a Genesis game. Uh, that was an arcade game, and I think the arcade game is way better than the Genesis game from the looks of it. Uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. You'd be amazed how short this game is, it was 15 hours. Uh, but uh, Partners in Time, pretty good. I liked it. Um, Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy. Uh, some people might be picking that, I was playing the Retro Achievements Achievement of the Week for a bit. The Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy, I actually think it was pretty alright, and surprisingly not too hard. Um, so definitely a worthwhile one to play. Uh, Axiom Verge. First, I, oh, he who honors the goddess of rainbows shall be guided to the heavens upon wings of fluid grace. Does that just like push the... Move it? Honors the rainbow. Uh, have any other abilities? That did work. Yeah, okay. It's a little weird that Ply does that. I probably would have gotten stuck here for forever. Alright, so I assume those are now like bridges. Uh, uh, Oh. Okay. Sure. Ah! <laughs> test, test. Uh, yeah, I would have thought I would have liked Axiom Verge a bit more. I think the thing with Axiom Verge was that it was less exploration. At least it was kind of annoying at like some small bits. Oh, was that it? That's gotta be like a little bit more, is it? Ah, there's an MP regen. I can spot there's gonna be a boss in a moment. Ah, uh, so cure that. Everyone else is on full health. Suck that up. It breaks. We'll come back later. Definitely save, because someone's gonna call me out in a moment. <laughs> And either I get a lot of story, or it's a boss, and I can pretty feel it's a boss. Ah, lit fan. It cannot be. Uh, without the Mercury Star. Does that mean someone's got the Mercury Star? So, uh, other ones. Uh, Super Mario Land. Oh, by that point, now I'm at the, the original stream, so I was doing. Sweet. So, okay. So we're almost there. Uh, other ones to play. Wonder Boy 3. Really good game. I like it. Uh, Superman 64. Hate it. Uh, Need for Speed Shift 2. Um, oh, okay. I, I might mention Superman 64 a little bit. It gets worse. I'm amazed how bad it gets. It's actually like you've really got to like go through the you know the effort of of like really playing it, and then the last level just peeves you off. Oh, look at that. The Characters are here. Oh, wait a minute. The characters are here. How'd they get over there? They've come to stop us. And we have no choice. We must defeat the twerps. <laughs> What's the one Pokemon thing that I've been posting in every single Discord? You guys know what it is. <laughs> Oh, that, 
They're just over there. I heard everything. Sneak, sneaking around as usual. So, classic bad guy mistake right here. Ah, yes. I shall fight them by myself. Granted, he, he's given them a head start. situations, am I right? Oh, and they're just gone. Eh. If you want to save your friends, you must defeat me. Okay. Uh... So, uh, last two, uh, Need for Speed Shift 2, uh, it's surprisingly, I like it. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of too much variety in terms of, like, uh, endurance, like, near the end of the game. But I think it was pretty solid. It's got quite a number of circuits, I like it. The cars are a little too slippy, though. They definitely just, they slide. Oh. Oh, no. Here he comes. Alright, so, to fight this guy, I imagine I do the same thing I've been doing in every single fight. Except... I can drop his attack. Now I've got another gin. Yeet! Uh... Wrath and Delusion. Oh, really? Why has he done this to me? I don't think this attack power even raises, like, my... Other kinds of attacks. I think it's just you go for it. Uh, you can attack with that, and actually, I might as well just just uh, tell Isaac to do Spire, or even better, I'll tell Isaac to go with the Jin. Why not? You can go with Mars. You can go with the Gus, and then you can use your one to heal Isaac a little bit. Seems to only be attacking one guy. Summons Venus. Uh, and then, yeah, the last game I played of 2020 was The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. That took an hour and a bit. That took a fair amount of time. I apologize if you guys were expecting anything worthwhile, but I, <laughs> I mean, granted, like, I think it's interesting to look back at the kinds of games that you played and just kind of like go, what did I play? And like, what did I actually learn out of this? So I think the one thing I learned is that there are a surprising number of old games that are really good and are like give it a bit of love give it a bit of time and you can really get into them um like especially i wouldn't have thought i would have enjoyed night trap as much as i did it's still a bit of a garbage game but it's a garbage game that i've played and i appreciate same thing with superman 64 i don't it's actually that game's really good jeez wow how can you make a game that bad that's just so amazing 119 damage, that's gonna be good. Give me the Spire. I can't sing music, because DMCA apparently. Wow, the GBA cannot handle that number of particles. That's... It's having a fun day there. Alright, so this seems like you really need to heal. Uh, I guess you just keep rolling with Forge. That is gonna you can go with Plasma. You need to actually heal. As long as he doesn't attack before uh, Mia gets to heal, which I think he does. Well, unless he attacked a different person. It's not too bad when he does that. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely think I've played a lot of games. Uh, in 2020. Uh, 2021 seems to be a little slower right now because I've only played uh, Fear 2 and Fear 3. Uh, and almost uh, F1 and yeah. That's about it.
Oh, and that Leaf Blower Idol game. The one Jova played like last week. That, uh... Yeah, that's a bit of a dumb deal now. Uh... I think I'm just gonna stick with the Ply, actually. We'll be safe and heal. Because I think after that much beating, he's probably lost a fair bit of health. He might actually just be on his final... final... DANG IT! No, it's the worst part. That was with me going safe as well. So Isaac can see clearly, but I'm probably gonna need to go with a water life, which is like, yay! I love having to, you know, use my healing items. Uh, I could use sleep. Did I use sleep already? I guess not. Yeah, back to life. Fireballs, yum. Oh, jeez, really? This is a pretty gutsy fight, I'll tell you that. Uh, you gotta heal, you gotta heal. I think Isaac is actually faster, I might, I might go safe for that. Uh, and you can do a fizz on yourself because you need it more. Jeez, I tell ya. Hey, dun dun dun, getting too hard, alright. Okay, there's only so much I can increase my attack, apparently. Uh, do I have Venus on the ready? I do. I've got all of these on the ready. Just go for it. Unleash... ...the summons. Nice. Here we go. Just keep going. Keep going. Fireball. Yum. Okay, why are you able to hit all four people now? What part of cheating did you not understand? Well... Well... We kicked his butt. We did it! We are the best. Is he gonna get away with it, or is he just gonna... I love this, like, ah, oh, full power. Ooh. Could it be? He was there the whole time. Uh, what's with this like ultimate power? Lots of JRPGs do this. It's like, I have unleashed the ultimate power that shall destroy the earth, but it will cleanse the world of this one problem that I'm having. Oh, was that the, the, the gimmick? Was that she should keep healing herself because of this lighthouse? Man, she's good. I shall explain it all. Okay, Clarissa. Ah, he's weak to water. Ah, how could he? Doesn't that mean that uh, Garrett would also be weakened? You seem pretty on point. Jerk. It's like, ah, nah. You, so you're telling me you knew he would win, and you didn't, like, like, help, and then you still just, yeah, like, what, what a jerk. I can't believe it. Ah, uh, is he just, you're just gonna let him go? You're just gonna let him go. Uh, yes, we're gonna kill him. Okay. Dang it, why is everyone a bad guy in this game? What kind of teleport was that? <laughs> Darn corrupting power, am I right?
Do I have to ask her? Uh, no, I don't. Nope. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. He's probably gonna be running away with them stars, I tell ya. Uh, so yeah, so with with the long looking back at list the games, yeah, I I guess you can also look at that in terms of in terms of anything, whether it's music, whether it's movies, whether it's books, just like you know, what have you actually gained out of this last year? I think the last year has definitely given people a lot of a lot of opportunity to really like get into the things that they really wanted to, uh, and if you haven't, maybe you'll find an opportunity. And if you have. Look back at it, see what you got. See what happened. Because sometimes a bit of introspection uh, teaches you what actually you really enjoyed about it. So like, yeah, I, I enjoyed like a bunch of modern games that I normally wouldn't have. Because I just, I don't know, I just found something kind of nice out of them. So the water will heal people. So Emil's just going to casually fix itself. Nice. And we're going to chase him. We're going on the left. Here it comes. How nice of them. How very nice of them to just constantly send lifts up and down. What is this even powered by? Where's the power? It's just a platform. Now this bit of geometry makes a little more sense. Just a little more sense. Not too much more, but a little bit more. And it's gone. You gotta go through all of that again if you want to figure this out. Look at all these people, they're chilling. Hey. Uh, you can 100% tell that you gotta pop the bottle on it. There you go. I know this is gonna come into use later. Or it's just a general item that you can use and it's just convenient that you can pick it up here. Okay, it's convenient I'm along with that one. Uh, it pee pee. Nice. Uh, and other than that, maybe we'll just spam the heals for a moment. I know, we've got a dedicated healer. I'm not using their healing ability. So, I think the town, everyone is happy. Everyone is healed. Wow, everyone's fixed. The end. You were gonna die. Nah, I'm good for 30 years. Oh, if only. If only. If only, man. If only. Thank goodness, everything is back to normal. Am I right? Nope, last one. Oh, everyone's back. What? Uh. Oh, I love the footprints, by the way. That's actually kind of neat. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, whether you can do anything with that snowman or still go in there. Yeah. Uh, so I think the goal would be to chase them further down. Oh, no, no, the church. Ah, she came back in the end. Are they siblings? Lit fam. You knew, you did, come on. Looks strange today. Who says that to someone? I uh mm, uh ooh uh ah oh, what? Is that why you're leaving? That is correct. Well, oh well. These are kids. And they're perfectly fine with this, like, self-imposed destiny. I swear, jeez. These are some very dramatic kids. So I assume that's the, that's the tell. Now it's like... We can leave, probably. Okay. I think with that, that is a perfect opportunity to save and then wonder, what am I doing uh, with with everything but that was pretty good just over two hours and clear the tree clear the lighthouse doing pretty all right anyway with that 
Thank you guys very much for watching everything. Uh, what? What is the plan now? Well, it's Australia Day tomorrow, so definitely um, I'll be taking a bit of a break tomorrow. But uh, other than that, I think I'll try and oh, I'll guarantee it. Until next stream. Uh, stay well, you guys. Uh, think retrospectively about your games. I don't know. I guess I'll be neat. Um, I think I'll be coming back to you with a new computer case uh, <laughs> next time as well. Um, should be coming in the mail very, very soon. The case is already here. I can see it. I just can't see the cooler, and I don't know why I need to move the case if I don't have the cooler. So, um, but other than that, yeah, like. I really don't know how to end the streams. <laughs>